Today, we're here to look at the Solomon Ultra Glide 2. And we're here in the lovely Peak District, and we've been out for a run this morning with my uh, Ellis Brigham colleagues testing this shoe. Kirk's joined us from Salomon as one of the ambassadors, and Kirk's gonna give us a quick intro into this shoe. Yeah, okay. So, Ultra Glide 2, second iteration of the Ultra Glide, a popular shoe. Um, it's really hitting uh, a market for the uh, the average runner that wants comfort now. Comfort's really driving forward yep. uh, where these shoes are heading. Uh, this has got a six mil drop, so it's still got a nice bit of, it's, it's an agile shoe still, can deal with mid-technical mid terrain quite easily. It's a lug shoe, so it'll deal with some, uh, some mud, some of the typical British peak district terrain like where we are today. Uh, and you've got the usual Solomon features. It's a super lightweight shoe. It's got the quick light system that most people are familiar with. Yeah. Primary thing with this is about comfort. It's about that ride quality, a nice rocker on it to keep that stride going for those longer miles for ultra marathons. It's part of your quiver. And, yeah, and, and so is it training and racing or just explain a bit about when you would use it? So this is an everyday training shoe for me, yeah. every day. Uh, racing wise, I did take it out on a run, uh, race last year. I used it on day six of the Dragon's Back race, a uh, multi-stage race over the, uh, traversing the full length of Wales. And it was about, like you've mentioned, as part of that quiver, it was just having something uh, later on in the race when the legs were trashed, injury was coming on that just got me through that last day uh, and it worked perfectly for me. We know that you were actually more injured than, you are, than you'd realised now at the, at the time. Could you tell us a bit more about that? Yeah, so day four, I developed some uh, pain, tendonitis in my shin area, um, manifested further into day five to excruciating pain. So day six, when the Ultra Glides came out, um, they helped a bit. Uh, <laughs> it manifested, later diagnosed as a stress fracture. So yeah, tough miles, well worth it. Uh, helped massively by a, a comfortable shoe to get me to the finish line. So yeah, as I said earlier, we're lucky enough to go out and, and test these with, with Kurt this morning. And I'm traditionally a fell runner, used to a much lower stack shoe. So when I saw these, I sort of instantly think I'll be, you know, rolling around in them. But um, I think picking up on something you just said, I, I agree, they are, you know, pretty stable and um, I, and much more stable than I was expecting to be for something with with such as much stack. And yeah, I mean, I, I think I would also think not necessarily a race shoe for me because I do a lot of fell running, but certainly something for getting the miles in through the week after work and that sort of thing. Certainly as you go to higher volume, it's just going to take that pounding off the legs off. Um, and as you've alluded to, Ross, the proprioception, the ground feel of it is still really good and surprisingly good for a shoe with the, the new energy foam that Solomon have put in. Uh, I'm pleased to say my Ultra Glide, the last iteration with the same foam in, put some big miles onto them upwards, nearly up to a thousand miles, uh, and the foam has not collapsed. So that, that energy foam and that support and cushioning does maintain. So it's got the durability that we're looking for in a shoe. And, and still the upper's okay? At yep, uppers are fine, they've survived. Yeah, that's really good. Usual rules, keep them clean, hose them down after a run. As we know, the Peak District can be quite aggressive on shoes, so I keep them clean on the uppers, quick spray down with the hose, and otherwise, yeah, they're, they're good to go. So that's great insight into the Ultra Guide 2 from Kirk. I'm really excited to keep using these, getting more miles in. I'm gonna be doing a, a written review in uh, the next month or so, so there'll be some more detail there. But these are available now in store and online. I would highly recommend going down to one of our shops, trying them on, and you can make your own mind up.